In Commitment 2014, rock the vote, get out the vote. The candidates for Maryland governor are pulling out all the stops to get people excited about this campaign, but the jury is still out on whether it's working. 11 News reporter David Collins joins us live from Northwest Baltimore tonight with our Commitment 2014 report. David. Well, Stan, despite what each camp says, many voters sum up the Maryland race for governor in a word uninspiring. <laughs> Democrat Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown getting star treatment as the headliner for a get out the vote rally on the campus of Coppin State University. This is one of several get out the vote events. But with so much at stake, we asked why does it take rallies to get people to vote anyway? Because some people just need that push. Everybody doesn't have that enthusiasm for their individual determination. You have to push them and get them excited about something. We're in this, we're in this incentive stage right now. Um, people are not really go-getters anymore. Although Brown and Republican Larry Hogan have crisscrossed the state, voters still express surprise to see them in person. You don't really know who's running. You don't really see their faces. You don't see them walking around like, hey, this is who I am. This is what I stand for. You see commercials where they're like bashing the other person. So it's like, you don't really know what's going on. So you, don't, you can't vote on something you don't know. Thank you very much. Hogan is organizing similar rallies. So far, events that have captured the most media attention have been geared to his base. Negative TV ads by both candidates are a big turnoff. Uninspiring to the point. That some voters have no interest in learning more about the candidates. The Maryland race for governor, mm -hmm. you have Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown, and you have a Republican by the name of Larry Hogan. Do you know anything about those two candidates? No. I've seen their commercials of them bashing, well, saying negative comments about each other. That's all I've seen. Brown dispelled those perceptions. At Coppin, he outlined his vision. Some of the crowd seem moved by a story of a grandma's hard knocks battle for civil rights and greater access to the polls. She had blood running, running down her forehead, and that little boy said, Grandma, what happened? Before he left, Brown gave Coppin students a homework assignment. Make a list of 10 registered voters. Ask them daily whether they voted. And if the answer is no, get them in the car, on the bike, take them by the hand to the closest polling precinct, because this election is too important. This election is too important to sit by on the sidelines. Hillary Clinton will be in Maryland tomorrow for a get out the vote rally for Brown. On Sunday, New Jersey Republican Governor Chris Christie will be in Maryland for a similar event for Hogan. Reporting live in West Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Dave, thank you. And with just six days left now until Election Day, make sure you're informed when you do head to the polls. From jobs to taxes and health care to education, learn more about the candidates and where they stand on the major issues in their own words. Our voters' guide is on our website, WBALTV.com. Click on Elections.